In this lecture, I will show you how to create a Spring Boot project by using the STS, which is Spring Tool Suite. Double click on the Spring Tool Suite icon that will launch the Spring Tool Suite for you. Choose a workspace. It is very similar to Eclipse because it uses Eclipse. You can select a folder on your machine, click on launch and that will take you to the STS home page or the workspace once it launches up. And as you can see, it is very similar to Eclipse. Go to the file menu, say new spring starter project. You see that option only in STS, not the regular Eclipse. So click on spring starter project. And you can change these Maven coordinates if you want to. I'm going to leave them as it is, but you can see, as you can see, it uses the Spring Initializer website to create a project. The name is demo. That's fine. The package is com.example.demo. Click on next. And here, what you have earlier seen as an option for search on the Spring Initializer website is available for you right here. If you are creating different types of projects, you can select one of these options like the web and those starter dependencies will be included in the pom.xml. We'll do that later when we create web projects. For now, simply hit the finish button. That will create a standalone Spring Boot project for you called demo. Expand it and you will see the very similar structure which you have seen when you created this project using the Spring Initializer earlier. Open up the pom. And it should be similar to the POM, which you have already seen. Go to the last tab, POM.xml, maximize it, and you will see the starter projects for Spring Boot Starter and Spring Boot Starter Test. And at this point, you know what to do with this. You are welcome to create the DAO and service again, but that's not required. It has the demo application, which is marked with Spring Boot application with a main method that is the starting point. Then it also has a demo application test marked with the Spring Runner and the Spring Boot test annotations.